That, that's part of your goal is when you're building your server, how much RAM do you want to have in it? And how much RAM is going to be? Well, an IT network specialist is going to learn about the, the basic fundamentals of computing, but in addition, how to get those computers to communicate. Core classes that we have them take, we do have them take a course um, called IT Essentials, which gives them the basics of supporting computers and the computer operating systems. And then they will learn a little bit of routers and switches from their CCNA courses, and then different server classes. Uh, so one, just a, a server technologies course, which we learn about the hardware of servers in addition to the storage um, that happens on a network and then of course the various network operating systems like Microsoft and Linux. You learn a lot of the commands that you need to know and a lot of stuff that transfers over into the workplace and that really helps out a lot. I took a security class so it's nice seeing how the security aspect of things are going into installing these servers. So I'm finally kind of getting how everything works together. It's all, come, it's all connecting now so it's really nice in that aspect of things. This one's up and running. All of our classes are, are a combination of lecture and lab. We really try to be focused on that lab component to make sure they get as much hands-on and, and simulate real world experiences as much as we possibly can. The hands-on part is the best because you actually get to work with the physical equipment and that just helps you out so much. Our professor will talk a little bit about what we're supposed to do for the day, but then she kind of throws us out there and we get our hands on there, we're, we're dealing with the, act, the actual yeah, server, yeah. so it's really nice that way. And you want that on a server, you want at least mm -hmm. two of everything in case one. And you get instructors who have been in the field that know what they're talking about, and they try and help you get to where you need to get to. Some of the jobs that would be expected would be like network administrator, uh, network support, um, maybe even a help desk or project um, technicians. There's a lot of different parts to the infrastructure that they could potentially work on. I've always had a computer my entire life. I've grown up with technology. I've always enjoyed technology. So it's almost a given for me. You know, I was always good with computers, so why not make a living out of it?